MEL Operational Procedures, Criteria for Dispatch. A320, Mentor Channel. Criteria for Dispatch. The decision of the pilot in command of the flight to have an operative items corrected before the flight will take precedence over the provisions contained in the MEL. The pilot in command may request requirements above the minimum listed, whenever in his judgment such added equipment is essential to the safety of a particular flight under the special condition prevailing at the time. The MEL cannot take into account all multiple unserviceabilities. Therefore, before dispatching an aircraft with multiple MEL items and operative, it must be assured that any interface or interrelationship between an operative items will not result in a degradation in the level of safety and or an undue increase in crew workload. It is particularly in this area of multiple discrepancies and especially discrepancies in related systems, that good judgment, based on the circumstances of the case, including climatic and en route conditions, must be used. MEL and operative item Considered an operative under B defect condition. Excluding CDL. Items with D repair interval. Items in ADA 25 related to the convenience, comfort, or entertainment of the passengers. And other items that may be caused an operative as a result of any interface or interrelationship between previous and operative systems or components. One example of those is the MEL, one main brake and operative and the interrelationship with the auto brake function. Maximum permitted and operative items. Unless otherwise stated, rectification of MEL and operative items shall be pursued at the first available opportunity not later than 3 flights or 48 hours elapsed time whichever is sooner. The maximum number of an operative MEL items that can be carried is 4. The maximum number of an operative MEL items that can be carried is 4. 4 MEL items are entirely independent from previous and operative items, and do not include A. CDL items. B. Repair Interval D. C. Passenger Convenience Items in ADA 25, as expressed in this MEL, which are those related to Passenger Convenience, Comfort, or Entertainment such as, but not limited to, Galley Equipment, Movie Equipment, Ashtrays, Stereo Equipment, Overhead Reading Lamps, Headrests, Armrests Decision of Departure A. Departure of Aircraft is decided in accordance with alert messages in ECAM. ICAS. If there is not appeared status message or above level, it doesn't affect departure of flight. B. In the event of MEL or CDL application, flight crew, dispatcher, and the responsible mechanics must exchange views with one another regarding applicable defects. In case that malfunction may be satisfied on these standards and assure the flight safety, the departure could be released. The responsible mechanics should explain information and corrective action to flight crew or dispatcher if necessary. C. Any failure which occurs between the start of pushback or taxi and takeoff brake release shall be dealt with as follows. 1. The pilot in command should communicate with the dispatcher and mechanics to review and share the situation and determine whether the flight should 1. Return to the blocks for repairs, the failed equipment is a no-go item, or 2. Return to the blocks to accomplish and maintenance, M, procedure specified in the MEL or CDL before continuing the flight or, 3, continue using the alternate procedure, abnormal procedure, for operating with that failed item. 2, the pilot in command may determine that the flight can be operated safely using the alternate procedure under the conditions of dispatch release, without communicating with the dispatcher and maintenance organizations. A320, Mentor Channel.